Welcome to an enlightening podcast from IslamPodcasts.com. We encourage our listeners to please comment and let us know how we can grow in our knowledge to better serve our community. Please remind your family and friends to also visit IslamPodcasts.com for engaging discussions on current events, Islamic guidance, Quran, Tafsir, Sira, and much more. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salam ala rasulullahi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'een Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wa ahlul uqdatam min lisani yafqahu qawli Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu In today's uh, uh, reflection talk regarding the salatu tarabih uh, Inshallah uh, we'll talk about uh, just one of the ayat in uh, Surah Al-Furqan, which is a continuation of a subject that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is uh, uh, discussing, mentioning in Surah Al-Furqan. Um, <coughs> that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in that specific uh, part of the surah is uh, uh, talking about the attributes of the people who are the people of the Jannah. Uh, and even the ones who have done mistakes in the past and then they return back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they ask for forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they repent and they worship Allah azza wa jal alone. And for when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about those attributes, like for example, these are other people who will become false witness of uh, um, of bad things. For example, if there are uh, evil acts are going and uh, they are not the one who will become part of it uh, when it says that uh, here uh, as the Mufassirin discuss about the subject it is talking about that those who do not bear witness to falsehood and they pass by some evil uh, evil play or evil talk they pass by it with, with dignity what it means by that is if there are haram going on there are evil acts are going on uh, they are. They do not become part of it, and they are not impacted by that. Uh, uh, quite a few times we see and we hear that uh, uh, people they try to use this as an excuse that because we are in uh, in a corrupted society or the society where the criterion of halal and haram are not used for weighing the action. Hence, if people are getting impacted by wrong things, uh, then it's as as if it's okay. Uh, that is not uh, the correct way of looking at the things. As a believer, as a mu'min, as a Muslim, we should not be the one thinking of this is uh, enough of an excuse to be impacted. Of course, uh, uh, we should uh, be watchful of uh, any of the corrupt things are happening around us. Rather than we be impacted, we should be, as a believer, be the, on, the, uh, 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 on the side of thinking that we are, we are here not to be impacted, rather to change the society according to the uh, the will of the, the of the Creator of the heaven uh, heavens and the earth. Hence, our our job should be that uh, rather than impacted by the society, we should be impacting the society in the right way. And then Allah Azza wa Jal further talks about the attributes of those people. The waladina ida dukkiru biayati rabbihim lam yakhiru alayha. And those who say our uh, and they say the end and those who when they are reminded of the ayah of the ayat of the Lord fall not deaf and blind. Uh, so now here, uh, um, so the, the, these are again the attributes of the fair people of the Jannah. Allah Azza wa Jalla is talking about the ayah that I really want to talk about today is the following ayah in Surah Al-Furqan, which is one of the du'as, the very same people who are the people of Jannah Allah Azza Azza Jal is talking about. This is the du'a that they make also to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the du'a that is mentioned here is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَالَّذِينَ يَقُولُونَ رَبَّنَا هَبْلَنَا مِنْ أَزْوَاجِنَا وَذُرِّيَّاتِنَا قُرَّةَ عَيُونٍ وَجَعَلْنَا لِلْمُتَّقِينَ إِمَامًا Sadaq Allah al So this is the ayah insha'Allah I like to uh, be um, uh, we talk, discuss today in our talk uh, specifically. Uh, the meaning of this verse is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying the meaning of the, of the verse is that uh, and those who say our Lord bestow on us from our wives and our offspring the comfort of our eyes and make us leaders of those who have taqwa. 
On the tafsir of uh, uh, this ayah, <coughs> Ibn Kathir, uh, rahimahullah, he discusses an incident that happened in the, uh, that happened after Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And Imam Ahmad, rahimahullah, he recorded that incident and he mentioned that Jubair bin Nufair said, "We sat with Al Miqdad bin Al Aswad, radiyallahu an, one day, and a man passed by, and that man." He, when he saw Al Miqdad bin Aswad, one of the great Sahaba, or one of the greatest Sahaba of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, so he said, "How blessed are those two eyes which saw Muhammad as Messenger of Allah, Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam? Would that we had seen what you saw and witnessed what you witnessed." Meaning, he was hoping, he was wishing that that he would have seen Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, or was he was born. Or lived in the era or the time of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Upon hearing that Al Miqdad bin Aswad, Al Aswad radiyallahu an, he uh, got angry, and uh, Jubair bin Nufair said, "I was surprised because the man had not said anything but good, because it seemed like he was praising Al Miqdad bin Aswad uh, or, or hoping to be to see Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam." So, and uh, so Jubair bin Nufair said. Uh, that the guy then he turned to he, he, to him and said, "What makes a man?" Uh, sorry, uh, Jubair bin Nufair said that uh, uh, Al-Mughdad bin Aswad. He replied that says, "What makes a man wish to be present when Allah had caused him to be absent, and he does not know how he would have behaved if he had seen he be, he'd been there uh, by uh, by Allah. There are people who saw Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and Allah will throw them." On their faces in the hell, because they did not accept him or believe in him. Are you not grateful that Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala brought you forth from your mother's wombs, believing in your Lord, believing in your Rabb, and in what your Prophet brought, and that the test went to others and not to you? Allah sent His Prophet during the most difficult time that any Prophet was sent before. Talking about Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the time he came was the most difficult time compared to the rest of the prophets. And after the long period of ignorance, when the people could see no better religion than the worship of idols, and he brought the criterion which distinguishes hak and batil, and which would separate a father from his son, and man a man would realize that his father, son, or brother was a disbeliever. And since Allah had opened his heart to faith, he knew that if His relative died; he would go to the hell, so he could not rest knowing that his loved one was in the fire. Referring to this aspect of it, so, so th- this is what Allah referred to in this ayah: "وَالَّذِينَ يَقُولُونَ رَبَّنَا هَبْلَنَا مِنْ أَزْوَاجِنَا وَذُرِيَّتِنَا ذُرِيَّتِنَا قُرَّةَ عَيُونٍ." So here, here uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is remind uh, uh, the the dua that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is mentioning about these. Uh, uh, people of the Jannah that uh, they are making about the the uh, these their their next generation will become uh, uh, or their wives and their next generation will become the qurat uh, ayun mean is the the comfort of their eyes. Obviously, when you are aware of if a person is aware of his family members or her family members the, the close ones the whether the parents or the children or the brothers or the sisters uh, uh, whosoever the close ones are and they are sure of that that they will be they, if they do not uh, or if they if they do li- uh, die in the state of kufr knowing what islam is it is a very painful thing to live with knowing that that your loved one will go to the hellfire and this is what this dua's impact is because you are making the dua that your loved ones whether your wives or your children uh, your next generation they become the comfort of your eyes so when we are talking about the comfort of your eyes meaning and then the following ayah part of the ayah says waj'alna lil muttaqina imama meaning that make uh, and make us leader of those who have taqwa meaning that they are the one leaders Uh, in the sense of they will be doing good, they will believe in the message of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Not only that, but rather also they will be also guiding the others or calling the others towards the uh, towards worshiping Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala alone. As the Hadith of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam 
which is reported by uh, many of the books of the hadith, hadith it says that إِذْ مَاتَ إِبْنُ آدَمْ أَنْ قَطَعْ عَمَلُهُ إِلَّا مِنْ ثلاث. That says when a, when a man dies, a son of Adam dies, then all his deeds are seized or, or, or closed except three. And those three are وَلَدٍ صَالِحٍ يَدْعُ لَهُ أَوْ عِلْمٍ يُنْتَفَعْ بِهِ مِنْ بَعْدِهِ أَوْ صَدَقَةٍ جَارِيَةٍ Those three things are the dua of your righteous children, like a righteous child, and the knowledge from which others may benefit from him, after him, and the sadaqa jariya, ongoing charity. So when we, are, when we make this dua, and we are making a dua for our wives and the children to be, on, to be, to be the cool of your eyes, the means by that is uh, uh, they are the one that you know that they are on the right path and they are following what Allah Azza wa has commanded. And not only that, they are the one who we are making dua that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make them not only the the, the, the qurrat al-ayun, uh, meaning the, the comfort of your eyes, our eyes, but also make them the uh, one who become the leaders of the taqwa, leaders of the one who will be calling towards Islam. So the, the, uh, the, this is what uh, the understanding of uh, this, uh, the, the, this verse is. Now, the, besides that, we have to think of it from today's uh, society, that uh, the, way, the, the society that we are living in, then the society which is calling us and calling the, our next generation, uh, next generations towards disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, where the in general the it is the society has made haram to be easily accessible compared to the doing the halal, halal actions uh, becomes more and more uh, difficult for the people to do and and also the society is guiding uh, the uh, uh, guiding us and the next generations towards the uh, to, towards the hellfire in those circumstances it becomes also very important for us when we are making these duas so dua is one aspect of it. When we are raising our children, we have to make sure that they also understand the uh, how the society is misguiding the people in this time because it is not uh, the society is not uh, established around uh, the guidance from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala uh, around uh, what Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, the creator, of the creator of the heavens and the earth, have uh, ordained to us to live by. Hence, uh, anything other than the commands of Allah the, or the ways of way of life of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, gu guides the people towards the hellfire. Hence, uh, we have to, when we are making the, this dua for our wives, our children, or for ourselves, we should also be very vigilant on our surroundings and to make sure that we understand our task is not only to make the dua, the, the, not to just think of it, that's all we have to do because the people of the Jannah, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about their attributes are not only talking about uh, making the dua. Yes, making the dua was one of the uh, acts that's mentioned in the surah and other parts of the Quran as well. But there are other actions which are also linked with it for the people of Jannah to enter into Jannah, which includes that they are the people who do enjoin the good and forbid the evil. They are the one who do amr bil ma'roof wa nahi al munkar. And hence, we have to make sure that this is also have been passed on to our, uh, our next generation. Generation, so they understand their role to be the leaders, to lead the mankind towards the Jannah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created for the muttaqeen. Jazakumullah khairan. We'll stop our uh, talk today here. Inshallah, we'll talk tomorrow. Subhanaka Allahumma bihamdik. Nashadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiru wa atubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you for listening to this podcast. Podcasts on current events, Islamic guidance, Quran tafsir, and seerah, are available at islampodcasts.com as well as on iTunes. Rate, review, and comment and let us know how we can grow in our knowledge to better serve our community. Please subscribe, share, and tell a friend about islampodcasts.com.